Demonstration of several milestones in the development of systems for text-to-speech conversion. Part A. Development of speech synthesizers. 1. The Voter of Homer Dudley, 1939. Will you please make the voter say for our, our Eastern listeners, good evening, radio audience. Good evening, And now for our Western listeners, say, good afternoon, radio audience. Two, the pattern playback designed by Franklin Cooper, 1951. Three, Pat. The Parametric Artificial Talker of Walter Lawrence, 1953. Four, the UVA Cascade Format Synthesizer of Gunnar Font, 1953. How are you? I love you. Five, Copying a natural sentence using Walter Lawrence's PAT format synthesizer, 1962. Welcome to the Stockholm Speech Communication Seminar. 6. Copying the same sentence using the second generation of Gunnar Font's UVA Cascade format synthesizer, 1962. Welcome to the Stockholm Speech Communication Seminar. 7. Comparison of Synthesis and a Natural Sentence Using UVA 2 by John Holmes, 1961. I enjoy the simple life. I enjoy the simple life. He knows just what he wants. He knows just what he wants. 8. Comparison of Synthesis and a Natural Sentence John Holmes Using His Parallel Format Synthesizer, 1973. I enjoy the simple life. As long as there's plenty of comfort. I enjoy the simple life. As long as there's plenty of comfort. 9. Attempt to scale a deck talk male voice to make it sound female. I am the standard male voice, perfect Paul. This is the result of trying to imitate a female voice by increasing the pitch, reducing the head size, and lengthening the open quotient. 10. Comparison of Synthesis and a Natural Sentence, Female Voice, Dennis Klatt, 1987. The leaves had been raked into piles. The leaves had been raked into piles. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. 11. The Davo Articulatory Synthesizer developed by George Rosen at MIT, 1958. A, B, Sentences produced by an articulatory model, James Flanagan and Kenzo Ishizaka, 1976. She saw the house. This is the test. 13. Linear prediction analysis and resynthesis of speech at a low bit rate in the Texas Instruments Speak and Spell Toy. Richard Wiggins, 1980. Now spell one as in one word. O N E correct. Next spell earth. Fourteen. Comparison of synthesis and a natural recording. Automatic analysis resynthesis using multipulse linear prediction. Vishnu Atal, 1982. Where is Dennis sitting? Where is Dennis sitting? This field of beets is ripe and ready. This field of beets is ripe and ready. Part B. 
Segmental synthesis by rule. 15. Creation of a sentence from rules in the head of Pierre de Latre, using the Haskins pattern playback. 1959. 16. Output from the first computer based phonemic synthesis by rule program, created by John Kelly and Louis Gersman. 1961. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them. 17. Elegant Rural Program for British English by John Holmes, Ignatius Mattingly, and John Sherm. 1964. The bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. It was the last thing I expected to find there. Did you come by motor car? I'm going home now. 18. Format synthesis using diphone concatenation by Rex Dixon and David Maxey. 1968. The number you dialed, ME1. 5280 has been changed. The new number is PA61347. This is the recording. 19. Rules to Control a Low Dimensionality Articulatory Model by Cecil Coker, 1968. This is the computer program speaking. You are listening to the voice of a machine. The number you have reached, 464078, has been changed. C. Synthesis by rule of segments and sentence prosody. 20. First prosodic synthesis by rule, by Ignatius Mattingly, 1968. You are listening to speech synthesized by rule. It was made at Haskins Laboratories with a computer. On the computer typewriter, the experimenter types a phonemic transcription. Control signals are calculated for the synthesizer, and the synthetic speech can be heard immediately. 21. Sentence level phonology incorporated in rules by Dennis Klatt, 1976. It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hoped that St. Nicholas soon would be there. 22. Concatenation of Linear Prediction Diphones by Joe Olive, 1977. This paper describes a small real-time speech synthesizer. The synthesizer requires as its input a string of phonemes and the associated duration, pitch, and amplitude parameters. 23. Concatenation of Linear Prediction Demisyllables by Catherine Broman, 1980. Hello, I am a language interpreter named Lingua. I have been used to synthesize speech from demisyllables by rule. I start by breaking your sentences up into the chunks for demisyllables and then combining them. Part D. Fully Automatic Text-to-Speech Conversion 24. The first full text-to-speech system, done in Japan by Noriko Numeda et al., 1968. Once upon a time, there lived a king and queen who had no children. Not a day passed that the queen did not say, If only we had a child. One day, as the queen was walking beside the river, a little fish lifted its head out of the water. 25. The First Bell Laboratories Text-to-Speech System by Cecil Coker, Noriko Yumeda, and Catherine Broman, 1973. I can read stories and speak them aloud. I do not understand what the words mean when I read them. But I can guess which words are important and which words are not. 
My rule is I have been given. 26. The Haskins Laboratories Text to Speech System, 1973. Animals talk to each other, of course. There can be no question about that. But I suppose there are very few people who can understand them. I never knew but one man who could. I knew he could, however, because he told me so himself. 27. The Kurzweil Reading Machine for the Blind. Raymond Kurzweil, 1976. Hello, I am the Kurzweil Reading Machine. Welcome to the Manhattan Library. I have been placed here or at any blind or visually handicapped person. Please enter a command. 28. The Inexpensive Votrax Type and Talk System by Richard Gagnon, 1978. The use of language made fine punch. The box was thrown beside the park truck. 29. The Echo Low-Cost Diphone Concatenation System, about 1982. The panels lit on the smooth lamps. Illumashi to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chip and lab is a rare dish. 30. The MIT MyTalk System by Jonathan Allen, Sherry Hunnicutt, and Dennis Klatt, 1979. Speech is so familiar a feature of daily life that we rarely pause to define it. It seems as natural to man as walking and only less so than breathing. Yet it needs but a moment's reflection to convince us that this naturalness of speech is but an illusory feeling. 31. The Multilanguage Infovox System by Rolf Carlson, Bjorn Granstrom, and Sherry Hunnicutt, 1982. The SA-101 is built around the 68 microcomputer, the MC-68000, and the signal processor, the NEC-7720. The device can easily be connected to a normal computer terminal. 32. The Speech Plus Incorporated Pros 2000 Commercial System, 1982. Four hours of steady work faced us. A large size in stockings is hard to sell. The boy was there when the sun rose. A rod is used to catch pink salmon. 33. The Clat Talk System by Dennis Clat of MIT, which formed the basis for Digital Equipment Corporation's Deck Talk System, 1983. Text to speech systems are beginning to be applied in many ways, including aids for the handicapped, medical aids, and teaching devices. The first kind of aid to be considered is a talking aid for the vocally handicapped. According to the American Speech and Hearing Association, there are over one million people in the United States who are unable to speak for one reason or another. 34. The Bell Labs Text-to-Speech System, 1985. This paper will give a brief overview of recent text-to-speech work at Bell Laboratories. Starting about a year ago, we have completed a new set of computer programs that translate English text into sound. This system constructs speech sounds by concatenating elements from an inventory of about 900 units, stored in terms of multi-pulse LTC coding. 35. Several of the deck talk voices. I am Perfect Paul, the standard male voice. I am beautiful Betty, the standard female voice. Some people think I sound a bit like a man. I am huge Harry, a very large person with a deep voice. I can serve as an authority figure. My name is Chit the Kid, and I am about 10 years old. Do I sound like a boy or a girl? I am Whispering Wendy, and have a very breathy voice quality. Can you understand me even though I am whispering? 36. Deck Talk speaking at about 300 words per minute. The following is a list of topics in today's news. In the sports world, the Red Sox lost to Detroit. First round matches were played in the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament. Arnold Palmer won the Sears Golf Tournament in La Trobe, Pennsylvania. In local news, there was a five-alarm fire in Cambridge.
End of the demonstration. These recordings were made by Dennis Klatt on November 22, 1986.